Hey everyone, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I want to talk to you about the NCLEX exam and how to study for the exam. Our website RegisteredNurseRN.com has a lot of resources to help you prepare for the NCLEX exam. We have free quizzes and I actually, while I was in nursing school, developed a study log that I use for the HESI exam, the exit HESI, and for the NCLEX exam. So if you want to look at the bottom of this YouTube video, there's a link that you can go to after you watch this video and you'll be able to access my study log that I use to study. Um, I show you the books that I use, which I'll talk about here in a second. And on that study log, it shows day by day what I've done. Um, it'll have the number of questions I use, what book I use, what areas I studied, like for instance, if I did pediatrics that day or studied mental health, and what I scored on those quizzes. So really check that out and look at that. That can be a guide to help you preparing for your NCLEX exam. And also on that same page are some free quizzes that we developed to help you study for NCLEX. So that can be really helpful in preparing because one of the best ways to study for the NCLEX exam is to actually practice questions over and over. So first of all, let's just talk about what the NCLEX exam is. Um, there's two types. There's the NCLEX RN and the NCLEX PN. Mainly what I'm focusing on in this video is the NCLEX RN exam. This is the licensing exam for registered nurses. The NCLEX PN is for licensed practical nurses, the LPN. Um, whenever you usually take the NCLEX exam after you graduate from nursing school, my nursing school helped me in preparing with that with the paperwork because there's a lot of paperwork to do. Um, my state board of nursing, it varies on where you live, but I had to get fingerprinted, I had to do a background check, and I had to submit a fee. And then once my state board of nursing approved me, made sure I wasn't a felon, or anything like that, they um, sent to Pearson View, which is the company that administers the NCLEX exam, that I was cleared to take the exam. And then I got my authorized to test. Um, with Pearson View, you do have to pay a fee. I think it was $200, I'm not for sure, it might have changed for me to take it. And um, I got my author authorization to test, and I signed up through their website to test. Um, there's different facilities based on where you live who administer the test. My test was actually at a bank, so I went to this bank, and it was in this little room, and I went to take the test, and they're very, very strict during the test. I remember them checking my pockets, my mouth, make sure I didn't have anything in my mouth or any gum, and I had to provide two forms of identification and they're really strict on what you can use for identification, so make sure you bring the correct forms or they'll make you reschedule and you don't want to do that because you want to get the test over, especially the day that you go. And then I went into a room and there was other computers in the room, but it was like a cubicle and I couldn't really see what was on the sides of me. It was just a computer and I took the test. Um, on the NCLEX RN, there's a minimum of 75 questions and a maximum of 265. And you can have anywhere in between. I've heard of people having 175, I've heard of people having 210, and it just shuts off randomly. Uh, luckily, I just had 75 questions. I remember taking it on my last question, it was 75, and whenever I hit submit, I was like, please shut off, please shut off, and it did. So thankfully, and I passed the first try. But even if you don't get 75 questions, you can get 185 and still pass. It's very random. And I have met people who took the whole 265, and they said it was exhausting, which it is exhausting because it's very stressful and tense. So, that's a little bit about the exam. Oh, and about your results. You don't get your results immediately. You have to wait. Um, either you can go to the Pearson View website in two to four days and pay a little fee to get your results electronically. Um, most people choose to do that because the anticipation of knowing if you pass is killing you, so you wanna know if you pass. But if you don't wanna do that, you have to wait up to four to six weeks and they actually send you in the mail a letter saying if you passed or not. But most people pay the fee. So that's a little bit about how the NCLEX exam works, but mainly on this video, I wanted to focus on how to study. How I studied was that I bought two books. The first book I bought was this book. It is the Saunders Comprehensive NCLEX Guide. This is the old edition that you see. There is a new edition that's out. Um, this edition was whenever I took the NCLEX, it's the fourth. I think they have like a fifth or sixth edition. And that book, is very, very good. All my friends, we use that book. Some people use Kaplan. It's probably a good book, but I really recommend the Saunders book. As you can tell, it's super thick. It came with a practice CD that had about 5,000 practice questions. And the CD was really neat because 
I could select each category that I wanted to test in. I could um, also, the testing format, like if I needed to select all questions, the diagrams, um, fill in the blank, because on the NCLEX, it's, they're really changing how you take. It's not just A, B, C, D, E, or um, A, B, C, true or false. It's a lot of pick on the diagram, what's this sound, um, fill in the blanks, select all that apply. They're really starting to do that a lot. So if you struggle with those questions on the CD, you can pick to take those type of questions. Also, when you take the NCLEX exam, you or practice taking the NCLEX exam, you just don't need to take the exam, your practice questions and look at your score. You need to actually analyze each question that you got wrong and, and read the rationale. That was another good thing about the book. It would give me a rationale and it actually give me the page numbers of where this content was in the book so I could go actually and look at it. So that was super helpful. So that's one thing I recommend doing. So take the focus on the areas that you're really not doing good in. Like think about in nursing school, what are the classes that you really struggled in? Take those and look at the rationales of what you got wrong and go back and review that material. And another book I used was the HESI book. We had to take, I had to take an entrance HESI, a mid-curricular HESI, and an exit HESI. The exit HESI, I'm really looking back, I'm really glad I had to take those exams even though I complained the whole time about taking them and they were very stressful, but they really helped prepare me for the NCLEX exam. And the exit HESI, we had to take it in order to graduate. If you didn't pass it, I think you had up to two or three tries, you didn't get a set for your boards and you had to go through all this stuff, which I'm not for sure exactly what all happened because I just wanted to pass the first try, which I did. And I use this book. This again is the older edition. They have a new edition. So if you have to take HESI, um, a lot of schools require the ATIs. I think the school I go to now requires ATI, but some are still using the HESI books. I mean the HESI test. So if you have to do that, that's what I really recommend. And just a little bit about the exit HESI. I had to take it at the end before I graduated and um, I scored a thousand and two, which gave me a 95% chance of passing the NCLEX the first try, which I did. And if you look at that study log, I also talk about that. So if you have to take the exit HESI, that will help you too. So the key is practice questions over and over, and then look at the questions that you got wrong as you practice and go back in your NCLEX book and review those content areas very helpful and in that in the Saunders book it has boxes and it has like highlighted areas and little triangle areas of things that are very hit that are hit on on the NCLEX so it'll help you prepare for that that's what I really recommend some people say that they keep all their notes through nursing school and they review and look back at that or they keep their books from other classes that might work for them, but it didn't work for me. And I just found it so much easier having everything in one book right there at my fingertips that I didn't have to flip through notes and look through everything. So that was super helpful. So that's a little bit on how to study for NCLEX. Again, I really recommend you check out our free NCLEX quizzes and check out that study log. Again, the link is in, in the YouTube video at the bottom of the description. So um, I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, we have a forum on the website that you can check out. And thank you so much for watching.